Logic One of the major reasons that programs are useful is because they can do different things depending on their inputs. To be able to make these decisions, we need to be able to write logical expressions. Think of these as a question that the computer can ask about the data. We will learn about two groups of operators, comparison operators and Boolean operators. Comparison operators ask questions about two numbers' relationship to each other. Then Boolean operators can ask questions that combine those comparisons and other questions. Often, we want to know about the relationship between two numbers. For this, we use the comparison operators. Each of these operators takes two numbers and returns either true or false. The most basic test is whether two numbers are equal. This may sound weird, but in Python we use two equal signs to test for equality. Do not use one equal sign, that means something completely different. The second most basic test is whether two numbers are not equal. The operator for this is even weirder. In Python, to test if two things are not equal, we use an exclamation mark and an equal sign. There are four other operators, the less than operator, the greater than operator, the less than or equal to operator, and the greater than or equal to operator. These four operators ask about the order of two numbers. I said before that the operators return either true or false. Mentally imagine the result of these operations being replaced by true or false. If you print the value, it will literally be the text true or false. In the same way we can add and subtract numeric expressions together, we can also combine Boolean expressions together. There are three operators for this, and, or, and not. The AND operator returns true if both the left and right operands are true. If either operand is false, then the result is false too. Notice in the second chunk of code, we are combining the AND operator with mathematical comparisons. The OR operator returns true if either the left or right expressions are true. If either operand is true, then the result is true too. This is not the opposite of AND but it is different. The not operator returns true if the expression is false, and false if the expression is true. This is sometimes called the negation or logical opposite. Unlike the and and or operators, the not operator only takes in a single value. You can nest logical expressions, just like you could with math. Following the logic can be tricky, just remember that the Boolean operators have the lowest priority. They will always be the last operation applied, unless parentheses upset the order. The comparison operators have the second lowest priority. They will be applied after any math operations, but before the Boolean operators. A common beginner mistake is to think that you can distribute logical expressions. You might think that the code shown second asks if the number 5 is less than 1 or less than 2. But the OR operator makes the two evaluated separately from the rest of the comparison. To properly ask this question, you need to write the first statement, with the less than operator repeated a second time. If you run the code shown, then the second printed value will be 2 instead of false, which you may find surprising. In a future lesson, we will learn why this happens. For now, just remember that you must be explicit when trying to use OR AND AND with comparison operators.